Clean your room, you dirty slob. I can still hear my mom's voice telling me that my room was a vortex of dirty socks and transformers. Not everyone is like that. Some people, especially scientists, love the sweet odor of organization. And thus we come to Dmitry Mendeleev. He was big into organization, always folding his socks and putting away his transformers. So in 1869, good old Dmitry introduced his epic weapon against chemical mess. Mendeleev had spent years laboring with chemistry to create an ultimate table. This made his girlfriend really mad because she thought the whole time he was building her a table for romantic dinners. But Mendeleev had only one true love, science. So I think he died alone, but happy. Mendeleev organized all the known elements in two ways. First he put elements into columns called groups. Elements and groups act in similar ways, like the noble gases and halogens. There are 18 groups in all. The next way we organize the elements is with periods. Periods are the rows on the table. There are seven periods, and they give the table its name, the periodic table of elements, which is better than its original name, Helen. And finally, each tile tells us a lot about the element, like the atomic number, telling us the number of protons per atom, the chemical symbol, the atomic mass, which is the mass of the protons and neutrons, and the element's name. In review, Dmitry Mendeleev invented an awesome way to organize the elements called the periodic table of elements. Columns on the table are called groups. Rows on the table are called periods. Tiles on the table tell you the specific type of atom's number of protons, the chemical symbol, its mass, and the name. So now that you know, go clean your room, and be sure to put away all your transformers. For more great science videos, like or subscribe to the links below. Until next time, this is Mr. C.